Hey guys, welcome to Grow Home Maze. Now then. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, you guys should have audio now. How the game? I don't actually have those items. Now, turn this way. Alright, in this chest, we find the ribbon. Next up, we go to this rock. And we break down that wall to reveal bullets. Alright, this puzzle is very easy. It's just reverse order of what the items show. Plus, you need something to hold boards first before you can make a bridge. And voila! And you will cheer every time something happens. So, let's move on. Without further ado. Now I have five hearts. We will use this currency at the shop. I have time for to do something. And it might be important. No, I haven't gotten to do anything. Okay, cool. Hmm. Ah, here it is. And we find a stick. We have sticks. And the entire dynamic of the game changes a bit. Well, the entire dynamic. The yeah, music changes. Also, we have doors now. This is no longer um, merely a. Uh, wait, is this now a fortress in here? Well, in this area, anyways. Now you find a pail. The order is. Stick, then pale. No, it is not. It is pale than stick. I don't know how I screw this one up every playthrough. I guess I am not the smartest person in the world. Then I haven't claimed to be, so that's a good thing. Alright, we have to move forward into it in order for it to kick us out, which I always found a little weird. Yes, we have to open that door every time we go through it. Also, don't forget this bottle of Jack. Which always surprised me that there was an alcohol reference in this. Just kind of took me by a surprise. Now let's plant these, and we go through here. The next thing we need to do is we need to close the other red door. Hopefully we did that fast enough. If we didn't, we'll know. Oh, in a second. And we got him. First try. Awesome. Now, this is kind of required because he'll eat that fruit every time. We need that fruit. Then for the key, we'll not be using that for a little while. Let's plant these. Now he'll never eat that fruit again. What we need that fruit for is this guy. He's hungry for a peach. Or whatever that is. And he's also hungry for a peach. Or whatever it's supposed to be. I'm not quite sure on that one. And there's our Thank you calling it a peach, because that's kinda what it looks like to me. Do you get a peach? Now we click this button so it opens up. 
Then we click this and click that. I'm not sure if that's required or not, but I know this one is. Because otherwise, we won't be able to get to a, into a yellow door, which is located in the first part of the maze. Always take one to many steps forward and get stuck in that loot off. Don't know why I went all the way around there. We got some cloth. Also, chocolate. Mmm, delicious chocolate. Mmm, giant chocolate ball. Let's pour some rum in it. Make this a... I actually have no clue this makes. But it looks really delicious. You get a little rum cake, I guess? Or a cake full of rum? So do you. I believe you have to wait for them to finish their cake first. I think. Ah, there you go. And let's roll him into that blue room. And let's roll her into this blue room. Let's wake him up. And they instantly fall in love, kiss, and give us some money. In fact, they give us 30. They must really like each other. Let's buy this book. And we go in here. Now, if you play some of the Grow mini games, which I'm not going to show, the mini grows. You'll recognize this little guy. And let's turn him into a wizard. Do you need a stick? Ribbon? Cloth? And now he's a wizard! Huzzah! Come on, do something awesome. And awesome cinematic. Fire, 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 and... Fizzle. Worst wizard ever. Oh, he opened the way for us, though. Wait for him to close his eye. Run forward. And this should let us drop one in the middle. Which gives us five. Son of a... Alright, move forward there and... Crap, move forward too far. Yes, they will all make you this area every time. Move as fast as you can right there and hit that. Because that deactivates all of them. We never deal with that obstacle ever again. Break that. Get 10 hearts out of that, I believe. Yes. And. Break both of those. Hit that. Grab this. Now I have 30. But before we go to the shop, let's hit this button. And put this ice cube over here. In that little hole we saw earlier. Let's take one too many steps in exiting places. Can't get rid of that. Alright, we need to go to the shop. Totally uh, spaced on that one. There's a behind this shop. As you can see, there's a hammer from one of the uh, mini games. Can't remember which one though. 
Now we go over here, and we light this on fire. Because that makes a hot spring. Ah, he's already, he's already enjoying it. Awesome. We've got his clover, which he's been using to hide in here. Which is why we can't chase him over here. To make this entire place a hedge maze. Awesome. And this is a tree now. Which we open it up, we find this book. Which turns her into a knight. To fight, well, might as well show what this guy does. He throws you all the way back. That's why he can't pass there. And the order for this one is stick, pale, board. Now he slices up the board and makes himself some armor. Alright. All in all, we are pretty good on this. Awesome fights and go! Well, that failed immediately. button which brings up that cloth ribbon fire All right we made a sun so let's break through this wall Alright, in order to beat him, you must break all these ice cubes and grab the book. He will throw you back every time. There's no way past that. Otherwise, the looking question shows how to make this. Turn him into a fire elemental. We put a stick on his head and he doesn't like that. Um, then we put a board, which he also doesn't like, so it just shakes it off. <clears throat> then we put some fire on his head. And then he shakes that off as well. There's the fire elemental. And his buns are burning. Ah, get away. That was a bit creepy. Awesome, fight some go! Go, flame dog cat thing. He needs a heart. Go, butt man! Who turns immediately into a heart. Which thaws him out, I guess. Then turns him in that. Aww, that's cute. And now he is forever in that shape. That was creepy. Goal has been reached. Congratulations. Alright. We have turned this entire maze into something beautiful. And 437 steps. Does it count the steps as I move? No, oh, it's locked. Okay, cool. Now, this is now a little solar system. In fact, it is our solar system. And there's the alien. There's always an alien in these games. Always. Well, not like 
always, always, but most of the time there's an alien. Very few exceptions. There's a butt man dancing, his dog in the fireplace. And they have a little kid, and they look very surprised by it. Alright, and now that's a tree. Maybe the proper top. And here's the angry thing. He had blew us back earlier, now in the hot springs with the mouse thing. And everybody's happy. Yes, everyone is happy. This entire part of the maze is made of sweets, and I feel like eating it. Alright, I'm Rick Duran, and I'll see you later. Samurai Chits! Rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Goodbye.